Gachagua has, of course, um, you know, is planning to travel and go to the Republic of People's China amid the complaints on alleged unnecessary frequent travels from the executive, incurring a staggering expenditure on the country's economy. Speaking while hosting the Chinese ambassador to Kenya, Zhu Pingjiang, at his current residence, the second in command highlighted pitching for Kenya's agro produce, among other issues, to form part of his visit. James Baraka reports. Public outcry concerning budget allocation to the head of state and his leadership for foreign trips seems to be hitting deaf ears after the deputy president today issued the details of his upcoming trip to China. This comes in just a month after President Ruto's historic tour to the U.S., which was claimed to cost close to 200 million Kenya shillings, sparked public uproar across the country as many faulted the president for not living within his means. According to Gashagwa, who hosted the Chinese ambassador to Kenya, Zhou Pingjin, at his current residence today, his visit will provide a platform for him to pitch for Kenya's agro-produce, especially coffee, tea and avocado, among other issues. In a bid to enhance the network for Kenyan farmers with global players in the coffee market, the second-in-command has previously championed for reforms in the coffee and tea sector, where he made several trips last year, including to Colombia, ahead of the coffee producers and roasters forum. In our coffee value chain, we have also come to meet the potential buyers of our produce under better terms. The farmers who are part of my delegation will also visit their counterparts in Medellin, Colombia, alongside research institutions on coffee to learn good practices. We thank the government of Colombia for making it possible for our farmers to connect and learn and appreciate good practices. In the meetup today, Gashagwa disclosed that they discussed cross-cutting priority areas of common interest between the two nations, including enhancing trade and investment, among others reiterating that Kenya and the People's Republic of China enjoy cordial and fraternal relations based on mutual trust and benefit, especially in trade and development. James Baraka,